What's up YouTube? Uh, you probably see the 1911s and you've probably seen uh, the title. So I'm just going to go over the guns here quick. We have a Scorpion Carry. We have a Springfield 1911 loaded target model. That's a 9mm. So 45. We got a 1911 here, same thing, Springfield, loaded. Both are US made, Target, Coca Polo, and uh, this is in a 45. We have a C3 with the Crimson Trace and uh, the Magwell here, with the 45. And this one I'm actually building here, so it's not complete. I got the grips, grips. Magazines. I'm waiting on mainspring, uh, magwell, beaver tail, hammer. All those are going to be a Wilson combat. Um, this looks from looks kind of like the one that I had before that I built called it Frankenstein. I actually sold that one, and this is going to be my new uh, belt. The only difference is. Uh, if you look here, this does not have a serration up front. So, and what I did is I, if you look here, got all the edges smoothing out. So when you holster it, it doesn't have any issues. So I just got finished blueing this. So we'll see how that project ends. Uh, no vac sites and such. Uh, probably will be end up good. So for the most part, it's uh, um, Wilson combat parts and uh, the frame. Uh, what is it? Caspian? Or I'm not sure. I don't remember what's the name. Uh, Fusion or so. So got that done here. Uh, the video is actually about Jeff Cooper. So, um, we all know who John Moses Browning is. And uh, we talk about the 1911s day in and day out. Uh, if you're a 1911 fan, if you reload, you do all this. Uh, but what I don't see a lot is Jeff Cooper, which realistically without Jeff Cooper we wouldn't have that much attention on the 1911 we don't we won't have ADPA uh, IDPA I'm sorry uh, we won't have uh, competition shooting and such so who's Jeff Cooper um, Jeff Cooper his his career is uh, he, he was in the US uh, the United States Marine Corps was commissioned in 94 uh, prior to that, he had a degree in uh, political science, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he served in World War, uh, World War on the USS Pennsylvania, uh, was a major at that point, and then uh, served in World War II as a lieutenant colonel, and he retired, or I mean, um, I apologize, the Korean War. He retired as a lieutenant colonel. And um, after he left in, uh, the Marine Corps, he got his master's degree and uh, he started one of the biggest, um, really uh, very prestigious uh, uh, shooting or uh, self-defense training site, uh, which is now known as Gun Sight Training Center. It used to be called Pistol Institution. Uh, Pistol Institute, um, so American Pistol Institute. Apologize there. Uh, 
Jeff Cooper passed away in September 25th, 2006. So it's about exactly six years now uh, since he passed away. Uh, a lot of things what Jeff Cooper did, so I'm just going to go over his techniques that he's, he developed. Um, he was a big favor, uh, uh, or he's a big fan, apologize, of the 1911. So at the time that he served, you guys know that 1911 was the uh, firearm choice at that point. After leaving and such, and the U.S. military started transitioning to the 9mm NATO. But he was a big fan of the 1911. So he started gun sight, he started all the competitions, shooting and such was all focused on the 1911 improvements of the 1911s and such so he's, he's a big fan of the 45 caliber uh, semi-auto uh, he developed the weaver stands that we all use right now the two hand grips uh, that most of us use again some people still use the old techniques presentations uh, biggest thing is the uh, the compressed Surprise trigger break. So let's try to kind of show this here. Make sure the gun is empty. It's empty. So um, his point was you're not going to go shooting uh, or pushing the gun. There is uh, people that jerk the trigger. You just push, push. Uh, his point was to take the slack out and you're pushing and you don't know when is it gonna break you have an idea but if it's between one to five it's gonna break so we take the slack right there one two th there we go three let's try it again Put, take the slack one two three four all right again one two three there we go then come to four yeah one two three four five there we go one two three. there we go three so not going jerking the trigger and shooting so uh, you're focusing on your front sight you're focusing on your techniques and you're letting you're taking that slack and waiting for the trigger to break uh, so being consistent as far as that uh, Cooper f favored the large cal caliber of the 1911, so I'm um, assuming a 9mm he won't be a fan of, but 45s is there. But also he uh, he put the five conditions, or the four conditions, considering there are five conditions of the 1911. So we're going to go over those conditions. Condition four will be... Carrying the gun, no magazine, empty chamber, and uh, hammer down. Pretty much, you're carrying a hammer. Nothing, wouldn't do you any good. Okay, condition three you have a full magazine in place, chamber empty, and hammer down. Again, won't do you any good. Condition two, round in a chamber, so you chamber round in magazine, or in, in the chamber there. Uh, full magazine and the hammer down. So it's gonna be a matter of pulling your slide, chamber it around, and shooting. Okay, that's still, uh, it's gonna take you 15 seconds or a second or two seconds, whatever it's going to take you. That's time in a gunfight. If you ever been in a gunfight or you're going to be in a gunfight, you might uh, it might affect you and might cost you your life. Um, condition one: round in the chamber, full magazine, hammer cocked, safety on. So what they call it: cocked and locked. That's what we all carry 1911s. Yeah, if you carry it in any different way, uh, I, I'm sorry, you're not 
uh, <laughs> in a good position there because uh, many things can go wrong. I know a lot of people don't even like guns with safety, but being cocked and locked, you do need the safety on. Uh, there's condition zero, so that's when you're ready to shoot. Round in, full magazine, and safety down, hammer cocked, and you're just ready to shoot. Okay, so those are the five conditions. So again, we're gonna go through those quick. Condition four, round, uh, n chamber empty, no magazine, hammer down, useless. Uh, condition three, chamber empty, full magazine, hammer down, useless. Condition two, round in the magazine, uh, not round in the chamber, magazine full, hammer down. So a matter of pulling the slide, or cocking the hammer, and going ahead. Condition one, round in the chamber, full magazine, hammer cocks, safety on, cocked and locked. Condition one, uh, condition zero, safety down, hammer in, uh, I'm sorry, uh, safety down, hammer cocked, round in the chamber, full magazine. Um, also, what Jeff Cooper did is uh, making the state of awareness uh, or color coding the state of awareness, which you got four colors, white, yellow, orange, and red. White meaning that you're really not concerned of anything, you're unaware, unprepared, uh, like many people just walking down the road and maybe you'll find somebody with a gun in your face and boom they blow your head off and that's about it uh, you don't think anything is going to happen to you you think the government is going to take care of you all these nice stuff oh my god this cannot be happening to me that's kind of the reaction that people have a yellow which pretty much I believe at this point if you're a gun owner you carry you conceal and carry open carry whatever the case might be you're at the yellow stage you're relaxed but you're, there's not a specific threat to you, uh, but you're aware of that something can happen. It can happen at any point. It might happen. So you're taking your uh, necessary precautions, uh, you're carrying your gun, you know that if anything happens, uh, if you're in an unfriendly place, potential risk, things like that, you're ready. So that's where the yellow state can be. Um, you're having that radar, you're going into a store, you know where to exit, where the other doors, where to hide if you need to. Uh, you're driving your car down the road. You're not, uh, you know, being stuck behind cars somewhere that people can reach to you. You know, you're having an escape route, uh, knowing things like that. You're having a plan at your house, okay, if this goes wrong, this happens, things like that. Orange, uh, you know there's a specific alert, so something is not quite right, you're suspicious of something, uh, you're going somewhere that you know you might be attacked, uh, you might have to shoot, you might have to shoot somebody today, so uh, this might be more in the red, but it's like you're in a combat zone, but not in a combat zone, so uh, you're somewhere that it might be a threat, something can go down, but it's not 100% confirmed. Uh, so you're really, no, you might have to shoot and you're ready to do that. Condition red is, you you are at that point that you're going to shoot. I will shoot that person. So you're at stage red uh, can, or condition red, you know you've been faced with a threat. There is no retreat, there is no other options. You're afraid of your life, for your life. You're afraid of, uh, you know, being hurt or one of your family members or someone you love or whatever the condition or the, the reasons are. You already went through that mental preparedness. You assessed your situation. There's no alternatives and you're gonna shoot. So that's kind of what Jeff Cooper did. So Jeff Cooper, really uh, built his whole uh, 
or the, his whole vision was around the 1911 and how to utilize the 1911, how to um, use the 1911 in different things, um, how to employ it. And this is where the whole 1911 uh, fans came out, people using it for a lot of competition shootings, you're using the 1911s and you're using the 45 calibers. And, uh, you know, you can see on YouTube there's a lot of 1911s fans. Uh, it's a great gun. Everybody loves it. If you don't like a 1911, you probably didn't shoot one. So, if you don't like one, go shoot one. And uh, let's stock after that. It is big. There's the small options, there's the light options, there's uh, many different options you can get, uh, many different prices you can buy, done, you can build your own, you can build it, it can cost you $500, you can build it, it costs you a couple thousand dollars. Uh, again, uh, this is going to be uh, my bread and joy, I believe. So, so far this, I'm going to engrave it myself, but uh, waiting to move to the new house and such, and then I'll do the engraving. Uh, but I just wanted to get it all set up and booked together and see how that looks like. So that, these are my two cents on who's Jeff Cooper is. Um, I'm sure I missed a lot of stuff too. Uh, if you uh, know more information or you want to add any information, you can always um, do a video response and I'll approve it, add it to this. Uh, and you got the comments. Please subscribe and thank you. Have a good day, guys.